What the hell is going on in my love life right now? I am so confused. If this is you, then keep watching because you're about to find out. Hello, Aquarius. All right. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius for the month of June. Um, I am so sorry that I did not get to you guys for May. Um, but I thought rather than backing everything up again, um, I'm just going to start fresh in June and start with you guys and uh, move on from there. Okay. So um, May was a very interesting month for sure. And I have a feeling June's going to be even more interesting. Okay. Um, switching it up a little bit right now. I'm at the beach, uh, at a park. I needed to be outside today. Could not literally be in my house. Um, there's just so much craziness going on in, right in the world right now. And I just feel all of it. And it's just being cooped up. is just too much. So like being out here, I just need to be out here. And, um, yeah, it's a nice change of scenery for readings too, okay? So let's get going. All right, this is uh, obviously not gonna be for every Aquarius, not gonna resonate for every Aquarius. Um, it'll resonate for some of you, but this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of June, 2020. Um, and yeah, let's get going. Okay, we have Go the Distance. So let's see what else comes out here. I should just pull a couple of cards out and then just go from there instead of having to go be card by card. But this is a relationship reading, love relationship reading, um, by the way. So with this card, you know, it's, it's usually about you needing to like finish out a relationship or like go the distance with a relationship, not to quit, not to give up. If you're feeling like, you know, fatigued in a relationship. Yeah. Okay. So there's something in your relationship that keeps happening like over and over and over again. You got, um, a, a cycle of some sorts, a karmic cycle. Um, karmic cycles are just things that from past lives and stuff that need to get worked out in this lifetime. Um, and sometimes we have to relive the lesson over and over and over again until we get it. So there's something in your relationship that keeps happening that needs, um, it just needs completion. And it needs like you to keep seeing it through so that you're not just giving up and not um, dealing with this karmic cycle, okay? Because if you give up, you're just going to have to repeat the same thing over again at a certain point. Um, okay, so we have feminine energy, yin, which is interesting. We'll get clarification on that. Feminine energy is just all about receiving. Um, it's a heart-centered spiritual energy. So... There may be a struggle in this relationship um, in the like feminine energy department. Okay, so here and now. This is all like, okay, so let me pull a couple more cards and then see what's going on. But um, with that card, it's like, forget about the past and let's not focus on the future either let's just like stick with the present and just kind of keep going with that because yeah okay this is getting more clear all right we have never ending story and then let's pull one other card to see what's going on here the never ending story is um, a good card because it's very clear about of what's happening okay any more cards for clarification please oops all right 
Let me just say this is the third time I've recorded this video because every single time I've done a, the Aquarius video, I've been interrupted. So pray that this doesn't happen, that doesn't happen again. <laughs> All right, so we have, let's focus here on the never ending story. Okay, this card is, you're depressed. There's some depression, okay? There's like this waiting here. She's like waiting this time, um, this timer. It has a little heart in it and it says, love me, love me, like, love me, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It's kind of like a waiting game of like, does this person actually love me? And that might be the cycle that's going round and round and round is like, um, feeling like the person loves you, but then feeling like they don't, feeling like they do, feeling like they don't. And that can get really exhausting. Um, and it might, it feels like the feminine energy in this relationship is getting squashed. Like, like there might be some, you know, toxic, toxic masculinity that is frustrating the feminine energy um and but ultimately it feels like you're just dealing with this person and their actions and loving actions than not loving actions loving actions not loving actions and that kind of thing and so you're you're sitting there depressed <laughs> you're sitting there wondering what's going on you're like waiting out to see if this person you know is actually going to step up and do what they're supposed to do um, and yeah, and like it just, and it also makes me feel like, uh, the feminine energy, I mean, you might be dealing with water sign or uh, an earth sign. Um, and it may also, you may be, you know, this may be more for the women and dealing with a guy who keeps cycling around and around and around, um, you know, in these cycles of, does he love me? Does he love me not? And it's his act, his actions are, he's acting in ways that are unloving and then acting in ways that are loving and acting in back and forth and back and forth. And that can be very exhausting, but the universe is asking you to continue to keep going. Okay. On that note, I'm going to say that if this is an abusive <laughs> relationship, if you're listening to this and you're in an abusive relationship and it's doing this thing, this is not not, this is not, you don't have to stick around for that, okay? That's not what this is saying. Um, it's just maybe this relationship, you guys are going kind of in these cycles and it's not necessarily abusive or anything. It's just like, dragging on and on and on with these cycles and you're not sure if things can get resolved. So you're being asked to kind of stick it out and see if it can get resolved. But if this is an abusive relationship, like don't, don't stick that out. Okay. That's never, that's never what spirit wants. Spirit does not want you to be with abusive people and dealing with abuse and having that drag on forever and ever. Okay. All right. Just disclaimer there. Um, so we have the imagine card here and this is all about like you creating the life of your dreams you getting imaginative and you getting creative with like what you really want for your life okay do you want what do you want your relationship to look like what do you want your life to look like you know who do you want to be? What kind of person do you want to be? What kind of person do you want to be with? This is all about calling you to think about those things. And the more you put your mind on that, the more you create it in your mind, the more that the universe responds to it and gives to you what you desire, okay? If we're focusing on the past, okay, if we're focusing on the past or we're too ramped up into what is going to happen, 
that sends messages to the universe too. Especially when we focus on the past and the things that keep happening, it's like we perpetuate the cycles, okay? We like, we're focusing on the negative aspects of what keep happening and so it like keeps happening. Um, and we gotta learn to change that perspective so that we can change the course of what's happening. All right, any more cards for clarification here? What else is going on with Aquarius? What is going on with you guys? Doo -doo. Okay, so we have deep knowing. You, well, Aquarius, you always have a deep knowing of everything. <laughs> this is just how you roll. This is how you function. Just a deep knowing of everything. Um, but you, I think you understand this relationship in a complex way. Like you understand the complexity, complexities of it on a deeper level. And sometimes you just need to hear these things for it to be confirmed that you're not like crazy thinking about it. Um, but whatever's going on in this relationship, like you already know, you already know what you need to do. You know the ins and outs of it and I feel like you you understand what needs to happen okay um, on the bottom of the deck we have loyal heart we have go out to sea and no place like home all right so there may be some trust issues so that might be what the cycle is right now there might be some trust issues and maybe that's just coming from your own triggers your own wounds like things that you've been through in the past um and that trust those trust relation those sorry those trust issues are triggers from you know uh, stuff in the past unless the person's actually like doing horrible stuff you know but a lot of times it's just our own wounds that like we have a hard time trusting people when they say they love us um and that might be what's going on here it's just you're like you're really struggling with trust issues from past wounds and it's keeping you in the cycle of struggling to like receive love um oh yeah definitely because that's yeah that's exactly what's going on okay you're struggling to receive love right now just because of past wounds, this old, these old karmic cycles. Um, you're struggling to trust. You're struggling because it, you're going back and forth like if the person loves you or loves you, doesn't love you, but they do is the thing. They do love you. It's just you're struggling to like feel that because of everything that's happened to you in the past. Um, there's gonna come storms in every relationship and just because there's a storm, I mean, it's gonna be a trigger for you too, but just because there's a storm doesn't mean that it's a bad relationship. It just means that it's a relationship and that's how people um, function, okay? And then no place like home. Like this relationship might be different than anything you've ever experienced. And that's a good thing. And it's just, you're trying to you're kind of bringing your wounds into the relationship and struggling to receive that love so just you know try to open your heart try to receive that love and see what's going on okay all right let's pick up one more card So we have forgiveness, okay? Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. There we go. All the past stuff. All the past stuff that doesn't have to do with this new person anymore needs to be forgiven so you can let go and you can start fresh, okay? All right, hope that helps Aquarius. Um, please like and subscribe. 
if you want a private reading with me, go to the description box, just shoot me an email. I will do a reading like this and then send you an email. Um, if you're on Instagram, shoot me a DM and Facebook as well. Okay, you guys have a good day. Bye.